Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's quick exercise, we're going to be modeling this object here. Let's get started. For this project, all dimensions will be in millimeters. And let's start out by creating a new component. You can give it a name. Select the front view. And let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Select the line command, create a line in the center point, and drag it up. Close it off. Let's also create another line and let's angle it a bit. And there you have it. We're going to use the same line command, so let's select this point here, left click, drag and hold until we intersect this point here. Let's select a coincident constraint, select the center point of that arc and make sure it intersects the line. Let's give this arc also a dimension, 14 millimeters. Select the line command again. Select this point and intersect this point here. Let's drag this point in. Select the coincident constraint and select this line. Now the distance between these two points, let's make that 45 millimeters. Let's drag this back up again. There we go. Let's give this arc here a dimension. We're going to make that 20 millimeters. Okay. Now that it's fully defined, let's finish the sketch. Let's use the revolve command. The axis we want to be the center line here. And it's set. And now you have your shape. Once again, we're in the front view, create a sketch on the visible plane. And out in space, let's go ahead and create a center rectangle. And let's make sure the top is 15 millimeters in width. Select the midpoint constraint, select the bottom of the center rectangle, and then select the center point down here at the bottom. Let's give a dimension from the center of this rectangle to the top of the rectangle. Let's make it 18 millimeters. And now it's fully defined. Let's finish the sketch. Select extrude command. We want the direction to be symmetric. We want the distance to be all. Select the right view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's create a profile. First of all, let's select the P key. Selection filter is going to be bodies. Select the entire outline because we're going to need some information from this geometry. Let's go to create rectangle, two point rectangle. Start at this line here, you get an X and drag it up a bit. And let's add some dimensions. I want the distance from this point to this point to be six millimeters. I want this top edge to be tangent with this arc here. And lastly, I want the dimension from this point to this point and height to be about 18 millimeters. And now it's fully defined. Finish the sketch. Select extrude command, select the profile we just created, left click and hold because it's inside the circle, select profile, direction is going to be symmetric, 
and distance once again is going to be all. Select Mirror Command. Object type is going to be Features. Select the previous extrusion we just created. And the mirror plane is going to be this plane here. Compute type can be set to adjust. And it's set. Rotate around again to the front view. Let's create a sketch on this face. Use the center diameter circle and let's find the center point of this arc here. And it's there. We're going to make this 15 millimeters. Finish the sketch, select extrude command, select the profile we just created. Operation is going to be set to cut and distance is going to be all. We can once again do that distance to all. Okay. Now. We want to create another sketch, but we'll select the right view. Let's create a sketch. Let's put it on a visible plane. Let's go back to sketches and let's turn on sketch number two. We're going to go create, project include, project to surface. Selected the wrong sketch. Select sketch three instead. Excuse me. All right. Now go create, project include, project a surface. The face is just going to be this face here. The curve is going to be the center point. And I'll rotate it and you'll see that it projected this point to this surface. Let's finish the sketch. Let's turn off that sketch. And let's go create hole. Want to select from sketch, select this point. And what we want to do now is add some dimensions to it as well. We want to be counter bore. And drill point's going to be flat. Hole tap type's going to be simple. Let's add some dimensions to complete the profile. Distance two, select this face, and it's set. Once again, let's use the whole command. Select this face, zoom in a bit. I'm gonna drag this handle and make sure it snaps to that center point there. We're going to add the parameters as follows. Distance is going to be all. And how we want to set this up is hole type is going to be simple. Hole tap type is going to be tapped. Thread offset is going to be full. Drill point is going to be angle. In this case, it doesn't matter either or. We want the size to be 10. Designation is going to be 10 by 1. We want it to be modeled. Select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's create a center point arc. We've got to find a center point. And to do that, we may need to bring back up a sketch. Sketch number four. 
grab the center point, bring it down a bit to the side and rotate it around. Select the horizontal vertical constraint tool and let's line it up with that center point. Let's add some dimensions to the arc. Let's finish the sketch. Select the surface tab. We're going to use the extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement hole length. Distance is going to be 40. Let's once again choose the solid tab, modify, replace face. Source faces, it's gonna be this face here, or these two faces. Target faces, it's gonna be this face here. Let's go to bodies, and let's remove body two. And now we have that perfect shape. Previously, it looked like this. And now it looks like this. Okay. Once again, select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're also going to do it at the bottom. So let's turn on sketch two. I'm going to use the center point arc tool again. Starting in the center. We're going to bring it around. Let's use the horizontal vertical constraint tool again. Make sure it lines up with this point here. Let's add some dimensions to this arc. Make it 22 millimeters. Let's create a construction line from this point to this point here. Finish the sketch. Select the surface tab. Select the revolve command. Select this profile here. And the axis we want to be the construction line we just created. Go back to the solid tab. Select Modify, Replace Face. Source Faces, it's going to be this face here. Target Faces, it's going to be this face here. Remove this body. Turn off the sketch, and it's now curved on the inside. Let's go ahead and add some fillets. Select this edge here and this edge here, this face and this face, inside face here, this edge and this edge. We'll make it two millimeters. And that completes this exercise. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.